Yeah, hi, it's Jack again. Um, today we're doing a, a visit because I haven't got a fairy city and that's what I'm going to be telling you about today, the fairies. But you know, before we look at fairies, I want to just go back a chapter. Uh, you'll be all very happy to get into fairies, but look how beautiful the buildings are. They're lovely, aren't they? Compared to the dwarf chapter, which was rather slow. So let's go and look at someone else's dwarf city, shall we? Right, well here's a fairly typical dwarf city and let's just zoom in on the settlement. Well this is a very well made dwarven city. It's got a nice portal at level 4. It's got a whole lot of granite mines, got a whole lot of copper mines. The settlement is nice and big which allows you to get through a very slow chapter rather nicely and it's more or less square which is also a good thing because it's a more efficient use of space to have a square settlement and then of course one day when you get to chapter 10 which is sorcerers and dragons, then you will need a square settlement because you can't fit your buildings in any other way. So that's great. But I brought you here because I wanted to show you the first guest race, the dwarves. You have a portal, you have some copper foundries, and you have some granite mines. The granite mines make granite, the copper makes copper, that's it. Then on the tech tree, the tech says, I need so much copper, I need so much granite, that's it. That's all there is to dwarves. Now, fairies, things change a little bit here. Now, again, you have, let's just zoom in. There you have your portal. This one's at level 3, obviously. Uh, we'll talk about this a bit later, but you really need to get your settlement up to level 4. Your portal, your farms. must all be level 4 because it's inefficient to be running poor producers and then spending the goods on the tech tree. You must rather get them up to level 4, get your settlement to max, and then and only then do you start working on the tech tree. With one exception. The one exception is do the research that allows you to upgrade your residences. You see, you've got a lot of residences to upgrade. So you may as well start working on that in every guest rest chapter as early as you can. But once you've done that, return to your settlement and get your buildings up to level 4. Okay, now let's look at the difference between the chapters. In fairies, the, the farms, you see, those are day farms and those are night farms. And you can see they're massive. So in fact, you are a little bit short of, of space, as we always are. So to get everything to work, you have to do some sort of Chinese shuffling. But just like the dwarves, you have a portal and you have two different kinds of buildings. But the difference, now we're going to go and look at the production run, shall we? Righty, here is the production runs for the day farm. The first run will produce sunflowers. The first run produces nightshade. Now, those are substances that you use to build your settlement buildings, to upgrade them. So the first half of the chapter you get to make those things and then when the second half of the chapter comes voila no more because you finish your settlements full side then you move on to making the other substances. Now you see the difference here between dwarves and fairies is that the fairy buildings make substances like fireflies which will be used in the day farm. We'll go look at that now. And the day farm produces substances which are used to make the night essence in the night farm, which are used in the tech tree. Let's, let's go back to the other farm and I'll show you. And you'll see that the fireflies are used to make ambrosia. Now, <laughs> so there you have, pro and you'll see this in the other guest races as you advance, you'll see produce from A is used in B and produce from B is used in A. So that is the difference. And, okay, now while we're here, just let's look at this. People often ask me, why do I need coins to make ambrosia? Well, you don't. <laughs> the reason that in this particular diagram that I need coins to make ambrosia is because I haven't got any fireflies. If I go back to my night farm and I make some fireflies, then I don't need coin uh, diamonds, you see. So you mustn't let people tell you that the fairy is a difficult chapter. It isn't really. The only difference is that you have one building producing goodies that are used in another building, and you have another building making goodies that are used in that building. 
all the guest race principles apply in fairies. Try and build square, which this player hasn't. Three of each farm would be beautiful. Uh, if you can get it to four, if you've got the space, go for four, but you'll get through the chapter on three. Um, don't waste your settlement goods until your settlement is at full production. Get it up to level four. Well, we have an info tip on the fairies, so let's go look at that now. Here it is. It's the Platinum Leaf, Everything You Need to Know About Fairies chapter tip. In these tips, all the text is in the comments on this side of the page, you see. So let's just open those comments. Here is the main one. And I think now that I've introduced the chapter to you, I'm not going to linger here very much. Uh, you must come and look at it in your own time, because I've written everything down here. Uh, I want to just warn you, <laughs> the biggest problems you're going to encounter is just make sure that you've finished all your dwarven quests before you come into fairies, because otherwise you're going to have to go back and build buildings that you've destroyed. So that's point number one. My other frequently asked question in fairies is, I have made ambrosia, <laughs> or sometimes I have made night essence. And the game just won't let me collect it. Well, that's very simple. Uh, the portal up to level two cannot store ambrosia. So if you want to store ambrosia, if you make it, you're wasting your time because you can't store it. So get your portal to level 2, then you can store Ambrosia. And get your portal to level 3, and then you can store Night Essence. Here we go. Here's the short answer to how to play Fairies chapter. Have as many farms as you have space for, at least three of each. Upgrade your portal, and then take the farms up level by level. Carry on upgrading until they're all maxed. Ignore the tech tree. You will feel frustrated because you want to get moving up the tech tree. But don't. Just just rather do it this way because it's slow at first, but you, you gain the time and much more if you do it this way. You'll be tech locked, in other words. You have knowledge points that you don't know what to do with. Well, here's the answer. I've got a link here. We have a knowledge point swap club where you give your knowledge points to other members in your fellowship to upgrade their ancient wonders and they in turn upgrade yours and ancient wonders damn important to get get uh, select one or two that you want to build and for those days when you can't use your knowledge points just swap them out with your friends you'll get a nice bonus for helping your friends as well so put in 10 get back 20 <laughs> that's worth doing and um yeah don't underestimate Ancient Wonders. They make your city a hell of a lot stronger and you, you, they make it easy to do many things on a very small area that you can't do with buildings on the same area. What makes what? Well, let's just scroll down a bit. There you are. A little bit lower down this thread, I've put in two screenshots. That is obviously your day farm and that's your night farm. So you can refer to those in the same tip. I've got some other materials here that you can look at other tips on settlement design and then of course there's this very important link here which is from the Elvenar wiki there's the link in the wiki there's a very beautiful section in the wiki on the fairies so there you go that's short and sweet that's basically the fairies chapter and if you have a problem come to platinum leaf you can pose a question and we'll give you an answer there's lots of us here who've done fairies and we'll be able to show you if you're struggling with anything at all. Uh, we are a independent uh, Facebook group for all users of Elvena, and you're most welcome to you and your fellowship and friends to join us. We have info tips like this one I've just shown you on all kinds of subjects, on, on all the guest races, except for the elementals, which I'm still working on. And we've got all these videos, and we've got many files, and uh, lots and lots of help that we have to offer you. So join us there. Bye.